Greetings and hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this lecture is titled Why Islam? Islam was the orig original religion of Christians, of Jews, and of all heavenly religions and Islam as it exists nowadays is as pure as it was originally because God has promised to protect the source of knowledge in Islam and that is his book, the Qur'an. First of all, the original religion was to worship God alone and not to associate any partners with him in worship. And this pure form of Islam exists now amongst Muslims even though some who call themselves Muslims have deviated from it but it did not it, uh, it did not vanish at all from all Muslims still the pure form is there and this pure form does not does not exist except amongst Muslims nowadays. There are no Christians nowadays who worship God alone. They associate partners with God in worship one way or another, either worshiping some symbols like uh, pictures or uh, uh, the cross or uh, statues or worshiping individuals, persons, uh, whether it is Jesus, may the peace of, uh, of God be upon him, or his mother Mary, may she be remembered in the best way by God and may God's mercy be upon her or the priests uh, one form of worship for the priests is to make them uh, mediators between the individual and God that is, a person who wants forgiveness from God, he has to go through a priest or something like that. This is considered, uh, this is considered one way of worshipping other than God, or making an associate with God in worship. Another thing about Islam, uh, besides the fact that it is the only religion that still is based on worshipping God alone, and uh, that uh, its book is preserved by God, and therefore all the teachings are preserved and they are in their original form. Another thing is, Islam is the only religion which emphasizes 
the position of action, the good action, the righteous deeds. It emphasizes the position of action. In Islam, you cannot just believe something and be saved. This is, this is one of the deviations in, uh, that uh, some Muslims unfortunately have. And those Muslims probably got it from either Christians or others who have this belief who, that it's, it's enough for them to be Christians to be saved and not to be Christians in the full sense and the original sense, but to be Christians as Christianity exists nowadays. And this is, unfortunately, uh, this is uh, uh, affecting a lot of ignorant Muslims who are trying, who are, uh, who are turning little by little to take on this belief that it is enough for them to be Muslims to be saved. And by Muslims, I mean the Islam that they understand. Islam without doing righteous deeds. Islam without, uh, uh, without falling into the unlawful things in Islam. So uh, this is why Islam is the religion that everyone should follow. And another uh, reason is that no religion other than the true Islam is accepted from anyone. Everyone has to accept Islam if he hears about it in the true uh, form, he has to accept it. Otherwise, he will not be saved in the day of judgment from the wrath of God and from the punishment of God. And of course, he will not enter paradise and live there forever. I hope this is enough for now.